Welcome to MicroStation. Our firm has been awarded the bid for a new project. In our role as a design drafter at our firm, we will be working on the project site plan, and the project will be performed using MicroStation. We are new to MicroStation and find ourselves in need of becoming familiar with the basic operations of the MicroStation Connect edition. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn, set the workspace and work set, open a MicroStation design file, and view a design file that has been branded to the active work set. Let's begin by starting the MicroStation Connect edition. To start MicroStation, you can choose from several methods. You can, from the MicroStation program group or desktop, double-click the MicroStation icon. You can double-click a DGN file, drag a DGN file icon from Windows Explorer onto the MicroStation icon, or in Windows Explorer, double-click the file microstation.exe. These methods will typically launch MicroStation in its default mode. Through various types of customization, it is possible to launch MicroStation in a particular mode. Here, on the work page, set the following. For the workspace, select Bentley Connect Training. And then, for work set, MS Basics Civil. A workspace is a container that is used to group work sets and may be used to represent a variety of things such as your client, your department, or a specific asset such as a plant or building. A work set is used to represent a specific project within the workspace. Now that the work set has been chosen, we can view the work set properties. These are shown on the right side of the work page. We can see that the active work set contains properties for the client. Project information, such as a project ID number and description, and location information. The work set properties for our project have been preset by the CAD management team in our organization. The value of a work set property is then available in any design file associated with the work set and are able to be used by various annotation and reporting tools found within the MicroStation Connect edition. This can be useful in filling out title block information. A property's value may be accessed when placing text and is linked back to the property definition. If a change is made to a property value, the change can then propagate to any file the property is used in. The next time the file is opened, the text whose value is derived from the property can update. Let's go ahead and open a design file. From the work page, click Browse. Navigate to the folder, MS Basics Civil backslash DGN backslash ref. Then open the MicroStation design file, topo.rd.dgn. This file contains topographic data for the location of our site design project. Upon accessing this file, you are presented with a no work set alert message. This file was supplied by our customer and has not been associated with the active workspace work set. From here, pick Use Active Workspace Work Set and then click Open. The file is then opened, displaying the MicroStation user interface, with the file now being branded to the Active Workspace Work Set. Each subsequent time the file is opened, MicroStation will verify that this is the active workspace work set. If not, the user will be prompted to activate this workspace work set. During this lesson, you learned how to interact with a workspace and work set and open and view a MicroStation design file that has been branded to the active work set. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.